your financial advice needs to be personal. I'll give you an example. I'm working with two couples in their mid 60s that on paper look very similar. Same amount of income coming in and same amount of nest egg that they're going to use to fund their retirement. So on paper, things should be pretty similar, but not if you look a little deeper and not if you actually peel back the layers. Let's start with their goals. One household is looking to spend down as much of their income as possible during retirement, taking big trips, having a lot of experiences, and then the remainder will then pass on to their beneficiaries once they pass away. The other household's a little different. They want to not only enjoy life right now, but also gift while they're still living. Use some of the assets that they've built up to help their family right now. So again, on paper, they look similar, but they have two different goals and two different visions on what they want their retirement to look like. And that's just their goals. When you dive into their financials, you start seeing some bigger differences as well. One household has most of its nest egg in equity compensation. They worked for a company that gave a lot of stock options and most of their nest egg is in that stock option in that company stock. The other household is a little bit more traditional. They have money spread across various different accounts like pre-tax 401ks, Roth IRAs, and also after-tax accounts as well. So each household is gonna have their own income plan on how they're gonna take money out and from what accounts, all to fund their goals and make their retirement be the one that they want. So again, big differences, even though on paper, they look the same and they're very similar. And here's the important point that I want you to remember, right? While Google is a great resource, the internet is a great resource to find out new information, every answer that you're gonna get while searching online is gonna be more general than you need. None of them are gonna be specific to you and your context. You need to remember that when you're asking important questions about your finances, the answers that you're given will take into account the following factors. Your goals, what you wanna see happen, and those are specific to you and your family. Your risk tolerance, your time horizon, what does your cash flow look like, what kind of assets and liabilities do you have, your tax situation, and your overall life. Those are important factors that again need to be considered when you're getting answers to the important financial questions that you're asking. Without those specific factors, again, all you're getting is general answers. And don't get me wrong, general answers are a great starting off point. They're a great way to educate the public, but you're not looking for that. You need more specific help for your specific situation. So consider the information that you're getting and how it relates to you. Try to find more specific information and answers to your questions. And if you run into a wall, consider asking for help. A financial advisor, a certified financial planner will help look at your specific situation and what you're trying to accomplish. How do you do those things within the context of your life? If you really want to accomplish the things in your life that are important to you, you can't go off of general information. You need specific answers to the specific questions that are tied into the context of your life. So make sure that your personal finance is actually personal.